Hey crocheters, today we are going to be doing a quick video on how to attach the head onto the body of an amigurumi project. Um, so I get asked about this, I'd say somewhat frequently because it can be a little bit tricky. So today we're going to be taking the chubby llama head and we're going to be attaching it to the chubby llama body. So what we're going to need for this, you're either going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook or a large yarn needle. Um, I like to use a crochet hook because I don't really like threading needles, um, but needles can be easier. So just depending on uh, what you have and what you prefer. Um, and also two eight inch strands of our color A yarn, which is um, for this project that I've done, it's the um, vintage white, super bulky yarn. Um, this is Burnett blanket that I'm using here. Um, and then we can get started. All right, so we're going to begin with our llama head here and our two approximately eight inch lengths of super bulky yarn. And so the very first one we're going to pull, we're going to pull it through row seven of the head. So it can be kind of challenging to count um, kind of the, the rows here. Um, but if you look at the pattern, you can see that row seven is kind of this last, last row of loops here. So what we're doing is we're going to take these, these loops because we don't want them to go underneath like this and to be attached and like hidden. We want to push these ones forward and we're going to, to just try and go as centered on the nose as we can and pull a strand through right here. So this is the strand we're going to use. Then we're going to take the body. And so this is what our body looks like right now. Um, and we're just going to flip it to the front. All right, so we've got, we've got this, you know, our, our rows right here. You can't see the rest of the body because it's off camera. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling these strands through kind of these top, the top two stitches on, in, in the neck. So right here and right here. So then we're going to go, now we've got it down through here. We're going to go back up through the head. And this, this is coming right like it's just right on the other side of the stitch. You're going to pull that through and then pull it down through the next set of stitches. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, which is really kind of challenging for me to do left-handed. This is maybe one reason why you'd want to do, um, use a yarn needle all right so you can see here we've got we've got this strand that works that, that just kind of zigzags through here and if we pull on either end of that it's um it pulls tight and it brings the head to rest right here on the front. So we're not going to attach all the way around to the back right now. First, we're going to attach the head in the back. All right, so we're going to take our second strand of our eight inch yarn and we're going to work this one through this kind of the back center of the fourth row. So this one you've got to count. So you'll find your magic ring, which is right here. So that's row one, row two, row three, and then row four is about here. It can be a little bit hard to find. Um, and you're gonna try and go just as much in the center as you possibly can. Pull that strand through. Then you're gonna work it down through the back like so. We'll give it a little bit of a tug so we've got some more yarn to work with. And then we're going to work either side you're going to go through the head and then down through the neck 
this side, I'm going to have to turn it around. So I'm not going to be able to do this left-handed. Pull it through like that. And pull it down like that. All right, so now you're just going to take your two ends and you're going to pull it tight like so. And you can tell that just brings our neck to sitting right there on the, or sorry, that brings the, the head to sitting nicely on the neck. So then what you're going to do is we've got these two strands on either side and you're just going to finish attaching. You're going to work up just through, through um, stitches that are real close to the, to the head or right stitches in the head that are really close to the neck as you continue attaching around. And as much as possible, you don't want to like get your loop stitches caught in it, but that can be a bit of a challenge. But at the same time, this is a technique that you you can use on more projects than just the um, chubby llama. So you might not have to worry about loop stitches getting in the way in um, other projects. Like the chubby cow doesn't have any loop stitches to worry about. The chubby donkey, even though it has loop stitches, it's not going to be in your way when you're attaching the head. Chubby horse, there will be a couple, but you know, it's, it's not all the way around like it is here on the chubby llama. And every few joints, you just want to pull tight. And once you get your, the two sides together, sorry, this is upside down. Just going to knot them off. And then you'll weave in the ends. Like so, and then you'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So here we kind of have three strands. This is the strand from um, tying off the neck and it can just be tough, tucked into the neck. It really didn't need to be out at all. Um, then we'll go ahead and finish attaching on this side. All right, now we'll go ahead and knot off. And weave in the ends. All right, so there we have it. That is how you attach the head onto a chubby llama. And as I was saying, you can absolutely use the same technique. You're just going to want to refer to um, the row count on the other patterns. So you can use it for the chubby horse. The chubby donkey. The chubby cow. the chubby goat, you know, and any other chubby project I might come out with eventually. Um, just make sure to refer to the specific rows where you're supposed to be attaching the head on those projects. I hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video.